Are you feeling okay? Are you in any pain right now? No. No pain? No. Okay. The patient is a Mercy College student actor. The clinicians are students in Mercy's School of Health and Natural Sciences. All right, let's see if I can find, I see your shoes before you get up. I would like my slippers, like I was told I would get them like hours ago. Yeah, they said that three hours ago that they were gonna come bring the slippers and they never came. So her name is Jamie Salud. She's a 66 year old, was admitted same day surgery for a placement of a cardiac stent. So we're gonna take some steps over towards your sister over there and then we'll have a seat in the chair. Mercy College offers the greatest number of clinical science disciplines in the region. Nursing, occupational therapy, physical therapy, physician assistant studies, and communication disorders. We teach the students about different roles and responsibilities, communication, values and ethics, and teamwork. So it gives them this opportunity before they actually go in and see it in the real world, where patients and families are confused and scared and we have the actors act the same way so they get that real life experience. This patient has had a stroke and suffers from diabetes and anxiety. Student caregivers work together to assess his condition. Do you mind raising both their arms up in the air? Faculty members watch their progress and collaboration from another room. At the end of the exercise, students from every discipline work together to develop a discharge plan. You're going to need a lot of assistance at home. And we're going to go through all your discharge, we're going to help you out, and we're going to get you... Then, all put their roles aside and review what they learned. It was very good to have that person there who's learned all of this and we could piggyback and be like, you know, I need you, we're part of a team. You guys had like a clear cut plan and everyone's roles were kind of determined so it wasn't just like a huge disorganized mess. Thanks. So it was really good. My first thought was he's not leaving the beds. We're gonna order a CT, we're gonna bring him to CT and see if there's a bleed. I'm thinking, you know, every day do a little bit of hand exercise or something so it was good to have someone who was like, no, this has to be done in order for them to progress. Yo, I'm gonna be a dying, I'm gonna have a real stroke. <laughs>